Okay, now we're going to look at how to solve a logarithmic equation. Um, remember, uh, looking back when we talked about the graph of y equals log of x, the domain was, was uh, from 0 to infinity, not including 0. The number's greater than 0. So in other words, what's inside the logarithm has to be greater than 0, or else that logarithm is not defined. Uh, that doesn't mean, for this example, that x has to be greater than 0. It means what is in here, the 4x minus 3, has to be greater than 0. So I'm going to do a little bit of scratch work off to the side to, to make sure we understand that this has to be greater than 0. Uh, solving this inequality, I get that 4x is greater than 3. And dividing by 4, I get x has to be greater than uh, 3 fourths. So keep that in mind that any time we solve these problems, uh, we have to be aware of what the domain of the logarithmic function was, and that includes numbers from 0 to infinity, not including 0. Uh, so anything that we get for x here, as long as it's greater than 3 fourths, is good to go. So now let's look at actually how to solve this problem. Um, first thing I want to look for is I, I see I only have one logarithm. If I had multiple logarithms, I would have to condense them into a single logarithm first. But since I only have one logarithm, I can convert to the exponential form. Uh, looking at this, I don't see a base written here, so that's the common logarithm of base 10. You need to know that, or else you don't know what base to use when you write your exponential. So the base is 10, so we say 10 to the second power equals 4x minus 3. I have other videos on how to convert between exponential and logarithmic form uh, that you can refer back to if you need to. Uh, now going ahead and simplifying this, 10 squared is 100. Please don't make the common mistake of saying that 10 squared is 20. No, you don't multiply by 2. 10 squared means 10 times 10. I see students do that all the time. And now I have two remaining steps of algebra to solve this for x. First thing I need to do is add 3 on both sides. That will give me 103 equals 4x. And then finally divide both sides by 4 to get 103 fourths is equal to x. Uh, if you prefer the decimal, that is 25.75. But I would just leave it as 103 fourths if it was me. But 25.75 is acceptable as well. It's equivalent. That's how you do that. Uh, looking at that, 103 fourths or 25.75 is definitely greater than 3 fourths, so I'm okay. Uh, this answer is, uh, is valid. It will work. Um, just be aware of that in the future.